India today uncovers the face that masterminded the deadly IED attack on our forces in Pulwama. Jaish e Mohammed terrorist and Afghan IED expert Abdul Rashid was personally sent by the Maulana of Terror Masood Azhar to the Kashmir Valley from Pakistan. National investigation agency's probe reveals the cocktail of explosives that was used. RDX was used in the Pulwama ID blast. NIA teams on ground zero collect samples after the blast. India today speaks to the survivors of the terror attacks in Pulwama. Survivors recount how they were pelted with stones. India today visits the CRPF camp where Jawans insist the Josh is high. Did you have any fear or something in that time? No, 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 sir. No, no. Are you angry? Yes, I'm angry. Punjab Minister Navjot Singh Sidhu sacked from Kapil Sharma's show over his clean shit to Pakistan in the Pulwama terror attacks. Issues a fresh statement says terrorism has no religion or country. Also claims his speech was distorted. There wasn't a dry eye in 40 villages and towns across the length and breadth of India as the mortal remains of our CRPF braves were brought home. These weren't big towns, these weren't big cities, but a large crowd gathered and everyone said, while we respect our braves, real respect for them would be when Pakistan's capacity to wage terror against India is degraded. There is no talk of revenge, but there is a talk that Pakistan must be taught a lesson, of course at a place and time of India's choosing. of the horrific terror attack in Pulwama. A billion hearts in mourning. India came out to pay homage to our Jawans. One last salute to our heroes and a pledge. We will not bow down to terror. This is the सहीद हो जाऊं मैं देश की अपनी मात्र भूमि के लिए सहीद हुआ है मुझे अपने भाई पर गर्व है। This is martyr Jeet Ram's brother. Even in his anguish, even as he bid his brother farewell, he vows to follow the footsteps of Jeet Ram and fight for the country. देश के लिए जाके अपनी सहीद हो जाऊं मैं देश की अपनी मात्र भूमि के लिए सहीद हुआ है मुझे अपने भाई पर गर्व है मैं पाकिस्तान से बदला लेना चाहता हूं मेरे भाई के दुश्मनों से मैं सरकार से ये चाहता हूं कि मेरे भाई का दुश्मनों से बदला लिया जाए। In Dehradun, as the mortal remains of Mohan Lal reached his doorstep, his daughter was waiting for him. With tears in her eyes and an unbreakable spirit, she saluted her father. In Tarantaran, a father broken in spirit, yet mastering courage, paid homage to his son Sukhjinder Singh. Sukhjinder is survived by his wife Dalbir and son, a child they were blessed with after seven years of prayers. The scenes 
were seen across the country from Punjab to Assam to Kerala families in agony putting the nation about their sorrow about their personal loss and a country in gratitude saying this sacrifice will never be forgotten a country that's eternally grateful to our braves and to their families for the sacrifice they've all made for our country but there are also the braves who fought and survived so india today spoke to some of the survivors i was at the crpf camp and we caught up with some of the survivors they heard the blast so the earth shook while all of this was happening as the convoy was passing from that area there was also stone pelting but again is there any fear because the first convoy after this terror attack moved again today there were a lot of precautions that have been taken there are a lot of counter measures that have been taken we'll talk about that in greater detail but this is the story of the valor of our braves after the terror attack they came around their fallen comrades rushed them to hospital and formed a protective wall around them that terror attack the lucky survivors or if i may the brave survivors we are with the central reserve police force personnel who were a part of that convoy and they are lucky to have survived that terror attack in which 40 brave crpf personnel lost their lives um, aap us convoy ka hissa the aap se ye janna chahte hain hua kya sir hum kahan se jammu se chale hum log ko theek 2 baje और जैसे इधर पहुंचे एकदम अचानक धमाका हो गया धमाका होने के बाद हमारे फिर जाके देखा हमारे जवान शहीद हो गए और फिर देखा उस बाद जो भी है बहुत इतनी बड़ी घटना हो गई इतनी ज़्यादा फिर जैसे भी उठाया जवानों को उठा के एम्बुलेंस में डाल के ले गए हॉस्पिटल में ले गई आप लोग दोनों ही बहुत यंग है आपकी उम्र कितने वर्ष की है सर थर्टी आप 31 वर्ष के हैं और सीआरपीएफ में कितने वर्ष हो गए आपको सर uh, 11 साल की आपकी सर्विस है क्या और आप जम्मू कश्मीर में काफी एक्सटेंसिवली तैनात रह चुके हैं हाँ सर मैं पहले मथुरा में था श्री कृष्ण जन्मभूमि अभी जे एन के में और मैं जे एन के का ही रहने वाला हूँ अरे वाह तो आप सन ऑफ द सॉइल है तो मन में कोई डर या कुछ उस समय क्या भाव था डर तो नहीं था सर डर नहीं गुस्सा गुस्सा बहुत है सर जैसे हम सुबह चले थे कोई करीब पौने चार बजे जम्मू से तो इधर पहुंचे थे तीन बजे के आसपास तो अचानक ऐसे लोग दुकानें बंद कर रहे थे और शटर बंद कर रहे थे कुछ लोग पथराब भी कर रहे थे कन्वाई के ऊपर तो अचानक उसके दस मिनट बाद एक अचानक धमाका हुआ तो सब एकदम ऐसे हो गया झटका जैसे लगे हमने सोचा पता नहीं क्या हो गया तो बस यही सर अपने चालीस दुकान हमने खो दिए लेकिन उनकी शहादत व्यर्थ तो नहीं जाएगी व्यर्थ नहीं जाएगी सर नहीं जाएगी नहीं सर और ये हर हर सीआरपीएफ का जवान क्या ये तो पूरे देश ने प्रण किया है हाँ सर शहादत कभी व्यर्थ नहीं, नहीं सर जी हम जाने नहीं देंगे हम ड्यूटी करेंगे हम जी जाने नहीं देंगे बहुत दुख होगा सर हमारे बहुत ज्यादा दुख होगा हमारे इतनी जमान चलेगी बहुत ज्यादा दुख हो रही है हम जाने नहीं देंगे जैसे होकर बदल देंगे दुश्मन कभी जीतेगा नहीं ये तो आप लोग हमेशा से करते ही आए हैं ऐसी परिस्थिति में मैं आपसे ये जानना चाहता हूँ कि वहाँ पथराव भी हो रहा था कि आपकी कौन सी गाड़ी थी उस कॉन्वे में किस नंबर की सर हम तो कम से कम 40 गाड़ी पीछे थे 40-45 गाड़ी पीछे थे और पथराव करने के लिए लोग आ रहे थे लेकिन ऐसी परिस्थिति में आपने पथराव के बीचों बीच अपने बाकी साथियों को बचाया और कॉन्वॉय को फिर आप लोग सुरक्षित निकाल के ले जी सर हाँ फिर खान भाई उधर रुक गया थोड़ी देर के लिए जब तक जैसे वो ब्लास्ट हो गया ना उसके बाद थोड़ा खान भाई को रोक दिया और उसके बाद में फिर खान भाई आ गई लाया गया और ये पूरे सीआरपीएफ का प्रण है कि ये जो सेक्रीफाइस हुई है ये व्यर्थ नहीं जाएगी नहीं जाएगा सर व्यर्थ नहीं जाएगा इसका कड़े ही कड़े जवाब हम देंगे सर
सही बात है सही बात है कश्मीर हो कन्याकुमारी हो पूरे देश के लोग इस समय सीआरपीएफ में यहां पर जम्मू और कश्मीर में तैनात है वन थिंग इज वेरी क्लियर वन थिंग इज वेरी क्लियर द सेक्रीफाइस विल नॉट गो इन वेन एंड दे विल कंटिन्यू टू प्रोटेक्ट द पीपल ऑफ कश्मीर एंड फाइट पाकिस्तान स्टेट स्पॉन्सर टेरर विद कैमरा मैन राउफ इन श्रीनगर गौरव सावंत फॉर इंडिया टूडे Now as far as the investigations are concerned the security forces have now been able to zero in on a lot of leads raids have been carried out in several areas in south and central kashmir uh, some people have also been taken into custody for questioning but for the moment the security forces are not saying much as far as the investigative agencies are concerned they've collected fresh samples some of the samples were washed away in the heavy rains immediately after the terror attack but some samples have been collected the national bomb data center is going through those samples let's now get you the latest in investigations days after the deadliest terror attacks in Jammu and Kashmir the National Investigation Agency is piecing together how Adil Muhammad Dar pulled off the suicide bombing Sources in the NISA preliminary investigations have revealed that around 150 to 200 kilograms of RDS was used in the attack further tests are on to find if other materials were also used as well The use of RDX short for research development explosive has been rarely seen in terror attacks in India. It was first used in the serial blast in Mumbai. This explosive was widely used in the Second World War and has 1.5 times more explosive power than TNT. The investigators believe that the mastermind behind the attacks is Rashid Ghazi, an Afghan bomb maker sent by Jaish e Mohammed chief Masood Azhar himself. The investigation has also revealed that the suicide bomber picked a slope to carry out the attack. He knew that the slope would slow down the convoy, making it an easier target. Sources also say that the suicide bomber Adil Muhammad Dar had gone to Pakistan to undergo training at Jaish e Terror Den in Bahawalpur. In the last few months, he was in constant touch with his handlers in Pakistan. Sources claim that the local Jaish Carder were not aware of the plot. Recently, Ghazi had a narrow escape in an encounter with the security forces. That's when he was plotting this terror attack and was in constant touch with Adil and five more others who he had recruited. Bureau report, India Today. Let's now try and make sense of the investigations and the road ahead. Joining me now on the broadcast is editor National Security Abhishek Bhalla. Also with me on the broadcast is Lieutenant General Vinod Bhatia, former Director General of Military Operations and Major General AK Sivach, a noted defense analyst and expert. But I want to quickly cut across to Abhishek Bhalla first. Abhishek, you've been speaking to your sources both in the NIA and the Jammu and Kashmir Police. Parallel investigations currently underway. The blast and the conspiracy what more can you tell us who was the real mastermind who was the local help what was the kind of local help that was available have they been able to unravel some part of the plot yet yet Uh, yes, Gaurav, uh, uh, what initial investigations have revealed and even the intelligence agencies are digging more information on uh, Adil and uh, they have uh, realized that, uh, you know, he was uh, in constant touch with his uh, Jaish handlers in Pakistan for the last five to six months. Also, what uh, 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 sources have told us is that uh, it was a group of five to six young men uh, who were part of this terror plot. Uh, Adil, of course, executed it, but there were others who were uh, part of providing logistics and uh, also doing recce uh, of the area and deciding uh, the right time uh, to carry out this uh, strike. Uh, what is most significant is that uh, the, the, uh, the mastermind of uh, this uh, attack uh, has been identified as a Pakistani. Ghazi had been uh, in Kashmir uh, for almost a year now and uh, he was the one who picked up these five, six uh, men uh, to carry out such fidain attacks. It, uh, he's probably planned more of these, uh, but uh, what is most striking is that he's an ID expert and he is uh, training young men in now uh, putting together IEDs and also uh, radicalizing and indoctrinating them to go forward and carry out such fidain strikes. 
Abhishek, stay with me. Three very important aspects that you've raised. So a Pakistani handler, a Pakistani ID expert, young local boys radicalized. We'll talk about that in greater detail, but General Bhatia, this poses clear and present danger to other convoys. One military convoy moved even today on exactly the same road. Now, what's the best way to protect the convoy? Uh, is, is stopping traffic like they did in the 1990s the only way? Because it's not one convoy that moves every day. There are several convoys that move virtually every day through the week. You see, uh, stopping the uh, traffic uh, may not be the answer because you cannot inconvenience the uh, public, uh, the Kashmiri people. Uh, but however, we have to take precautions. It has to be coordinated with the traffic police. It has to be coordinated with the local police. Uh, so there's a lot of coordination required. I'm not saying the coordination is not there. It was there. But such attacks, uh, uh, which has Pakistan written all over it, uh, that's what uh, uh, is uh, totally, uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, it's got Pakistan written all over it. And now how do you stop that? That is the answer. It is not that, you know, you, you just uh, uh, change that convoy timings, you change your drills, you upgrade your SOPs. Uh, the terrorists will keep change the modus operandi and we will keep changing the modus operandi also based on the, uh, uh, the uh, tactics of terrorists but the fact remains that someone has brought in that 150 plus kgs of RDX where has that come from that has come from Pakistan uh, where has the ID experts come from he's come from Pakistan you see, uh, uh, Adil Dar, the local uh, uh, terrorist is only the face uh, it has been engineered from there and that is where we need to you know make sure that the cost of Pakistan is so high they do not dare to attempt it the next time ever uh, because because, yes. you know, just changing convoy timing is only one part of it. It is a defensive mechanism, but defensive mechanisms do not really yield the results we want because they will find a window that's uh, a when, excellent uh, when they want point it made. Uh, to do something again and again and again. And that's what is happening. That's an excellent point you've made that India will not be defensive because some people have also been advocating taking the air route. You know, the convoys, uh, because they, they sometimes become your Achilles heel, they're, they're a soft belly, they can be targeted, so why not take the air route? But why should we be scared to use the road in our own country? We will use it when we want, how we want. It's the terrorists who should be scared and it's the handlers who should be scared. Fear must be in the heart of the adversary. That's the point that the security forces are repeatedly making. The government, of course, saying that we've given a very free hand to our security forces. The Prime Minister, he's issued not one, not two, but three warnings to Pakistan that there will be consequences. But on ground, how do soldiers take it? How do the CRPF personnel take it? I've had, I've had the privilege of interacting with some of the CRPF personnel at their camp. Some survivors, you heard them, but also others who've been taking this convoy, including women who are serving in this area. Let's take a look. CRPF Sadat Jai, that's the motto, that's the spirit, that's the morale. We are with the Central Reserve Police Force here in Srinagar. After the terror attack, is the morale down? Let me take this question to the CRPF personnel who are here in Srinagar. Now, some of them were a part of the convoy uh, that was targeted by terrorists. Atangwadiyo ne aapke convoy ko nishana banaya tha. Uske baad, kya kuch manobal mein kami ya dar? हमारा मनोबल सर ऊंचा है हम कभी नहीं हार मानने वाले हैं कन्वाई पर अटैक हुआ है फिर भी आज हमारी कन्वाई गई है और हमारा मनोबल हमेशा वहां पर है अप रहेगा सीआरपीएफ सदा जय भारत माता की जय भारत माता की जय एवरी लेवल कॉन्वॉय को आतंकवादियों ने टारगेट किया ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि वो फिर कोशिश करें वो क्या कॉन्वॉय में चलते समय कुछ ये रहेगा मन में कि एक बार टारगेट हो चुके हैं दोबारा टारगेट करेंगे दोबारा अब क्या मौका मिलेगा सर जो हो गया वो तो हो हो गया अब अब उनको क्या मौका मिलेगा लेकिन मैं एक बात बताना चाहता हूँ उन गद्दारों को जो ऐसा कहराना हरकत किए हैं सीआरपीएफ को सीआरपीएफ एक ऐसी बल है जो देश के हर कोने में है ऐसा कोई कोना नहीं है जहाँ सीआरपीएफ न मौजूद हो और सीआरपीएफ वो अंगूठी का नगीना है जो हर जगह फिट होता है 
ऐसा कोई मतलब वो नहीं है जो काम ये सीआरपीएफ नहीं कर सकती है सीआरपीएफ सदा जय दिस इज हाउ द मोराल इज बीइंग केप्ट हाई दैट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल लाइन सीआरपीएफ इज द ज्वेल दैट फिट्स इन एवरी रिंग अक्रॉस द कंट्री एंड देयर इज नो डिनाइंग द फैक्ट दैट द सीआरपीएफ हैज बीन डिप्लॉयड वेरी एक्सटेंसिवली द मोराल इज नॉट ओनली हाई दे आर आल्सो बीइंग रिपीटेडली स्पोकन टू बीइंग टोल्ड अबाउट व्हाट प्रिकॉशंस नीड टू बी टेकन किस तरह का साहब संयम बरतने की आवश्यकता है ऐसी परिस्थिति में और अगली बार ऐसा ना हो क्या बचाव के उपाय हैं हम लोग एक डिसिप्लिन फोर्स है सर और हम कानून की हमेशा रक्षा करते हैं ये हम अपने देश के साथ इस प्रकार की कारना हरकत ना तो दोबारा होने देंगे और जो भी हमारे प्रशिक्षण के बीच में ऐसी कार्रवाई आती है इससे द्वारा निपटने के लिए पूरी स्ट्रेटेजी के साथ अपने इन सुशासित और सुसज्जित बल के जवानों को द्वारा आगे के लिए तैयार करेंगे भारत मदा की भारत मदा की भारत मदा की senior officers families in many many ways uh, the entire crpf family is reaching out to the crpf personnel here but it's not just the crpf family the fact remains it's the entire nation that's reaching out to the central reserve police force because as they said it is bharat mata ki jai with cameraman rauf gorav savant in shrinagar for india today मुश्किल